We're glad to have you out here to Spinthrift today. Spinthrift started in the late 30s uh, with the first crop to hit the races in 1941. And inside of our stallion complex here uh, in the breeding sheds, just inside by the office, uh, it has every stakes winner that has been bred uh, in this breeding shed since Spinthrift opened. Uh, it's amazing to see all the way from 1941 all the way through current day and a real who's who with Aladar and Affirm both there in the mid 70s and so many good horses that were uh, conceived here uh, in the breeding shed at Spinthrift. Uh, the farm is uh, now with Mr. Hughes is a little over 1,350 acres that he acquired. Uh, we bought the Whitaker property that is over adjacent to us that at one time was home to Boamazon Farm who were the leading owners in the nation. Uh, they had a big reputation with two-year-olds and we were thrilled to death to be able to add that piece of property uh, into the Spencer Farm uh, complex and uh, it's a great training center and we start a lot of our young horses out uh, close so it's easy to pop in over there to, uh, to watch them get broke and, and start training. Uh, we have a beautiful office that at one time was Leslie Combs's home and uh, Mr. Hughes didn't want to make it uh, his home so he uh, had a nice home that used to belong to Henry White uh, over here on Plumley Lane that he redid that made a beautiful comfortable home for him and and so the house that was Mr. Combs's turned into being our office and so it's a lot of history in there a lot of cool stuff and uh, it's you know great place to drive into uh, each day we just uh, opened up the B. Wayne Hughes Welcome Center last November. Uh, it was uh, the same time that the Breeders Cup was here in town, so we had a lot of dignitaries out here to the farm for the, for the ribbon cutting, and uh, it's a beautiful facility with uh, not only a shop where we have a lot of Spencer swag, but a lot of history. It has the Authentics Kentucky Derby trophy there from when he won it in 2020, and uh, the roses from that day are, are, uh, have been freeze dried and they're in the, the floor there which is pretty cool as you first walk in under glass and with the blanket and uh, lots of uh, history beholder uh, copy of her induction into the National Hall of Fame up in Saratoga uh, just a lot of her trophies and uh, Eclipse Awards and very neat place so if you ever get a chance to make it here to Lexington we'd love to have you come out to Spendthrift and check out our Welcome Center. 41. You ready? Yeah. So glad to have you inside. This is inside the breeding complex here and we have two breeding sheds uh, that we're in right now and we actually have a uh, mare that's getting ready to get bred here southern hemisphere. Uh, but what we wanted to show you was the plaque. So this is every stakes winner that's been conceived here at Spinthrift going all the way back to the first year of racing in 1941. And it winds all the way through during the Combs years, a lot of history, a lot of stakes winners. The farm was sold off in the 80s. Uh, there were several factors that, that caused that to happen. But once the farm was sold and the Combs had a dispersal, the farm was owned by three or four different uh, folks before Mr. Hughes bought the farm in 2004. And so if you look up and you look at 2004 and you can see there wasn't a whole lot of activity, you know, here at Spinthrift at that point. But as we started growing our stallion roster to the point this year where there was 27 stallions, it's an amazing to see all of the stakes horses that have uh, been conceived here and so many names that people would know and, and uh, recognize. So uh, once you get a chance to come to town, you know, come out to Spinthrift and have a chance to see this wonderful plaques of history here. So we have Maximus Mischief. This is the leading freshman sire in North America. Maximus Mischief, a very exciting horse for us at Spendthrift. He was undefeated as a two-year-old, and unfortunately he got hurt in his first start as a three-year-old down at Gulfstream in the Holy Bull. But a big, beautiful son of End of Mischief. He's actually one of my bigger stallions that we have. He's out of a song and a prayer mayor and he's off to just a fantastic start we have 13 winners already for maximus mischief had a nice winner again yesterday uh, up at parks but what's been cool about him is he's had 
made in special weight winners from Del Mar uh, all the way to Saratoga and in between Gulfstream. Uh, they're winning at all the right tracks. Uh, he's about 200,000 ahead on the freshman sire list right now currently and a horse that we're very excited to see how he finishes up the rest of his freshman year. Okay, thank you. Okay. And then Next up is the 2020 Kentucky Derby winner, Authentic. Authentic is a son of into mischief out of a Mr. Greeley mare, a horse that his best weapon was his speed. He would just run horses off their feet, and we've just been extremely excited about his first group of yearlings. The first group of yearlings so far to go through the July and through Saratoga uh, have averaged over a half million dollars a piece. So he's set up for a tremendous chance next year to be the leading freshman sire. He's got uh, the best mares uh, of that group and the horse is just being a son of into mischief. We are extremely excited about what the possibilities are for that crop. Uh, Authentic was a horse that was a talented two-year-old really started putting it together his three-year-old year during COVID. He, he won the Haskell, he won the Kentucky Derby, but he tapped it off to wind up being uh, the Breeders' Cup Classic winner uh, at Keeneland. Uh, that day, running one of the fastest times in the history of the Classic uh, to cap off being a uh, horse of the year by winning the Breeders' Cup Classic to go along with his Derby and Haskell. This is authentic, and if you get a chance to come to Spencer, we'd love to show him to you.